I think they did an okay job with the pandemic. I mean, they could have done a better response generating vaccines and that sort of thing, but that's a historical problem. So we used to have public vaccine research facilities, Connaught Labs, I'm not sure if you've heard of them. A couple decades ago, those were privatized. And so we lost that capacity. Had they been here, we might have been able to put out vaccines a bit sooner and we wouldn't have had to necessarily bid on vaccines through these multinational companies that weren't based in in Canada. So that's something where we might have been able to benefit. Again, like I mentioned already, had we properly taken care of our healthcare systems and had a robust inventory of medical supplies, we might not have had to scramble when it get subpar PPEs in order to deal with the pandemic. If we had properly funded our healthcare systems, it might not have been overwhelmed during the pandemic as ICUs were trying to deal with COVID-19. My spouse had to go for surgery this past March. And so this is a year into the pandemic. But she had to go in for surgery this past March and she had to recover in the maternity ward because there weren't enough room in the recovery section. So we did an okay job considering where we were at. But had we been making sure that we were taking care of the healthcare system all along, then I think we could have done an even better job. And then economic benefits, I think we did okay. The Liberal government provided the CERB payments and then now the CRB payments, which they just finished extending. But those were supposed to be a lot less. They were supposed to be $1,000 a month. And then the NDP managed to convince them to, to double it to 2000. So that was been, there was the governments working together to make sure that, that not only we had them, but that we had them at a sufficient amount so that people can, can take care of it. And then the opposition parties pressured the government to making sure that it applied for a lot of people. Because at the beginning, some people weren't able to get it. Like I wouldn't have been able to, as a self-employed person at the time, been able to apply for them or, or any other self-employed people for that matter. And a few other things like that. So I think they came together and provided those economic benefits. But if we were already doing a universal basic income, income, for example, that wouldn't have been an issue, right? Everybody would have still been able to have the money they needed to survive. Border closing, they probably could have closed the border a bit earlier. Since then, though, I think they've done an okay job as far as the border goes. Federally speaking, there are some issues provincially, but I'm not running to be an MLA, so I'm not probably not going to speak to those too much. But as far as federal government goes, I think we did an okay job. I think it could have been better in some areas, but a lot of that is historical. And so if we could take care of those things now, if another pandemic came up, we could be more prepared for it.